Hey, brothers, Spud Cubbers here with uh, something a little different. I've been doing a lot of 10 minute builds lately and I realized I haven't really been finishing any of these builds. Although I said I was gonna do it in campaign and I am, I'm gonna do most of them directly in campaign, but obviously I just kinda wanna do some vehicles here and there, you know? Wait, <gasps> do we have mirrored? We do have mirrored. <gasps> See, I haven't played or I haven't built a prop plane since we got mirrored wheels. That was like a personal request of mine. I, I love you so much, Hakari and Nick. Now go down now, plane. No, not like that. Okay, we're a plane. Wait, we can maneuver in the air. Okay, I forgot about that. We're getting the wheel jitters. I can fix this. Ah, it's the friction. What? You're kidding me. It's the friction. Oh wait, no, that's the drive control. Uh... Oh, that, that reminds me, have you guys played the uh, new Katamari? Katamari! Da -da -da -da. Ba -ka -ba -ba. Hello everyone! It's post-commentary cups. Here to fill in for live commentary camps while the video time lapse is in place. As you can see, the wheels are being set up as landing gear, and I am currently testing the angle at which they can successfully fall. It seems to be 60 degrees, and so I continue to set up ACBs to set them back. And then, once again, to set them forward. But I obviously don't want to keep the ACB next to the tail fin. So I put it next to the fuel tanks. Yes! What else shall we do with this plane? Later, we will find out. But for now, I shall leave you with this wonderful soundtrack to listen to. Yes! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Old worn out suit and shoes. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke old stogies I have found. Short. But not too big around. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road. See, I, I would put Rhea's new 50 cals on, but they're like mounted on turrets already. All right, I think I'm going to 30 millimeters here, so this is going to be uh, an adventure. Oof. Nick! Nick! Oh, that's rough. Right, guys, Spud Cubs back with the airplane with our, our lights. On. Uh, obviously, so I had to redo the landing gear. I did made an oopsie, but we have it balanced now. Right. All the controls trimmed out. We have our little crosshair here. It feels a little bit more like Battlefield. Done it. Yeah, the crosshairs are shifted over this way by uh, four hundredths of a meter because the Rambot view model is four hundredths of a meter away from center of the block. Interesting, but um. That's how I've always done it, because it works. So I, I've armed the plane. Maybe a little bit too much. Uh, I've armed the plane, but the problem right now seems to be that the distance between here and 500 meters altitude 
between that distance, we go from pitching down to pitching up. So I'm going to move the mass and center of lift a little closer to each other so that it doesn't affect us as much. Uh, this might get ugly. Perfect little spot to take off. And I'm just going to slowly throttle up. I have hooked it up with quite a few different weapons in the hopes of making it nice. Shoot me, shoot me. I am a plane. Anyway, I like that. It's edgy. Look how edgy we are. We're like a Warframe. We're so edgy. Anyway, I think our top speed right now is 45-ish? 45. We have our landing gear that deploys on altitude. Most of my planes deploy them on uh, spe speed. Uh, this one's altitude because I thought uh, eh, it might be more useful to do altitude. We go in first person view. This is kind of what it looks like. I like it like this. It's a little sensitive on the pitching, however, so it's kind of hard to deal with. I can't fine tune my uh, Baron target here very easily. We got our crosshair set up. We can vino in. This is grand. Tricked you. We're actually a bigger plane than you thought we were. Oh, the gun's not working? That's okay. Get the big boys. So uh, I, I think this is the proper use for a small plane like this. I mean, if you take some like aerial shots of this thing, you probably see, oh yeah, he's got some small planes on there. They're painted white and you don't actually see. They're actually painted black and they're bigger than you think. We could fit quite a bit of these on a carrier. Not to mention, uh, these aren't docked or anything. I mean, I've got docking stations, but as you can see, they're just... They're just on the carrier. So if you had a carrier and maybe had a couple dozen of these aircraft, you could uh, have some havoc here. Oh, well, uh, hey guys. Uh, so uh, the game updated 30 millimeter assault cannon. Would you look at that? I already got one. Already got one, buddy. 1250 effective range. Jeez, jeez, gee, look at that effective range. Oh my God, that's an wow. That's, that's incredible. We got the APS 30 millimeters. They kind of fire like that. They do a good bit of damage. I don't get recoil from them at all. Um, we get the simple weapons. Can't aim in that direction. Uh, I gotta use the crosshair, I guess. Wow, that sounds nice. It actually kind of does sound like the uh, Wolfenstein Return to Castle Wolfenstein MP40 sound. I, I And I played the heck out of that game. You just turn the pitch up a little bit on the sound and it's uh, perfect. All right, is anyone getting dizzy from this? I know I am. If I was cannon, I'd never shoot you down. Oh, gee. Oh, Oh jeez, bud. Oh, I see we're, we're going for the for the attack crow build, and uh, you know we 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 need those uh, style points, obviously. Orange, orange. Like a, we look like a Warframe. Let's just get rid of the missiles altogether. Let's just get rid of them. I'm just putting more gun. Yeah, that's, that's all we're gonna do. This is dumb. This is really dumb. This is just really dumb. Fuck you, Atlas. I reign supreme. Oh. Okay, I, I see how it is, Atlas. Well, anyway, guys, uh, this has been Spud Cubs with a little bit of an arming video. I hope you enjoyed this. And please, have a buoyant day. You're my little brother.
together, so I have to show you how to celebrate Hanukkah. This is called a dreidel. You spin it and see where it lands, and you sing this song. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of clay. 